for our processor installation inside the processor box uh, we have the product manual uh, inside of this will also be your little um, case sticker to a little thing you can put on your case that says you've got an AMD inside whatever Intel inside yada 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 They'll, you'll be able to find that in this little booklet here deliberately shown uh, wrong setup so you can't see the serial number your OEM case fan with thermal grease already on it and the processor which I'm conveniently covering up so you can't see the serial number on it uh, like I said this is a Phenom 2 AMD uh, but it's in this little case. You can see, see a little corner. See it? See it? It's peeking. It's peeking. <laughs> uh, not funny. But there's your uh, processor, and we're going to go ahead and put that in. First thing you want to do: get to your motherboard, lift this little hammer. It kind of goes just a little bit to the bottom here and up. Doesn't take much effort. If you're forcing it, you're doing something wrong. And you may be able to see it. I'm hoping you can, but there's a tiny, tiny, tiny little mark right there in that corner. There you go. That little triangle indicates where the first pin is. This is going to correspond with the gold triangle. I'm trying to turn the processor so you can see it. See a gold triangle? Again, I'm covering you up serial number stuff. That is going to match that triangle there. Before putting your processor in, take a look at it and make sure none of the pins are bent. You shouldn't get any bent pins. That's normal. <laughs> um, but it's always a good idea to check it before you do it. And the same thing with your socket. Take a look at that. Make sure there's nothing in it. You see how some of them are kind of white blocked out there? That's normal because, as you can see with the processor here, there's some spots where there are no pins that is to correspond with that. Installing the heat sink is pretty straightforward. As you can see, there's this little piece of plastic. Simply pull that off. As far as the alignment of the two sides of it, um, it's really kind of your own preference. You can physically put it on either way. I personally like having the lever on the far side. Uh, towards the top of the case. That way if I have to actually use some kind of pressure to get it off later, I can, or if it breaks, I can you know have more play there to get something in uh, instead of compared to whoop, instead of uh, as you can see there by the uh, chipset heat sink, there's not much room there if I kind of put it there. See there isn't really any room. So I'm going to go through put it so that the uh, handle side is towards the top of the case. Once you clip both ends on, simply clip on the far side first and then the one that's up here. Make sure your handle is uh, rotated so you have the most slack in it. Um, it's pretty obvious if you look at it. And then once it's in place, I can't get the camera around there, but you just simply crank the handle I do it nice and slowly to make sure it's not a huge amount of issues or anything like that, but it's now installed. You can then take your CPU fan header and plug into the 4 pin that is conveniently located next to our memory sticks. Um, some of you may be asking why haven't I put on any kind of special thermal grease, um, if you've read the article on the site. Um, You'll know that I usually recommend a higher performance grease uh, for custom built systems. This system is for a customer. He's using it really only for home use. He's not going to be playing, you know, like uh, 24 hour sessions of World of Warcraft. So the standard paste that's on this heat sink is fine. The standard heat sink is fine. Um, the only time I recommend putting in different pastes if you're replacing the heat sink putting in your own heat sink that's custom doesn't have stuff already with it or um, really want that extra bit of performance so okay that's it for installing the processor uh, to the next uh, part going to go ahead and put in our power supply <laughs> 